What we are doing is creating a, the beginning of a movement that we think is going to make a major difference for millions of people who are seeking human rights uh, throughout the African diaspora and on the African continent. We have an opportunity to bring large numbers of people of African descent that have been working to protect and promote to realize the rights of people of African descent for years. They've been longing for this space since Durban 2001. Hace 20 años, uno de los grandes logros que, que se hizo, que logró el, el pueblo afrodescendiente fue Durban, autodenominado como afrodescendiente, fue el gran logro. Y ahora, después de 20 años, lograr crear un foro permanente para los afrodescendientes de una forma eh, de marca todo este proceso de lucha. Es una conquista del movimiento afro este, organizado y sobre todo genera una nueva esperanza para que el foro permanente sea un instrumento de, de presión y de promoción de nuestros derechos al interior del sistema de Naciones Unidas, pero también al, hacia afuera, hacia nuestros países. Gives the opportunity to, for people of African descent themselves to say what they want and for not for the UN and others or even governments to assume what they want. Donc nous voulons au moins vivre avec dignité et cette pandémie que l'on appelle le racisme, j'espère qu'un jour on viendra à bout, même des personnes qui pensent que ça n'existe pas. Especially for the diaspora to hear so many different experiences that are similar but also how we can learn with each other. The challenge for us as people of African descent is that we feel while this issue remains on the agenda, there's been little to no progress. We still face systemic, uh, institutional discrimination in our everyday lives. We're going to be around for 20 years and 20 years after that and 20 years after that. So. You know, maybe a hundred years from now, they're going to look back to today as the beginning of something that was a really positive thing for people of African descent around the world.